What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Malik Monk is a role player for the Lakers. And to be fair uh, to him, the Lakers are not a good basketball team this year, from what I understand. Um, you know, LeBron is unhappy with, uh, you know, Russell Westbrook being there. Um, you know, unhappy with Magic Johnson off the court, from what I understand. Um, they're in the ninth seed, 27 and 34. So, you know, <laughs> if they happen to get into the playoffs, you know, they're going to get blown up by the Suns like they did last year. Although, although they'll play the, the Warriors or something like that. And they're going to get this kicked out of them in the first round. LeBron will be gone next year. Um, and then you have my Sacramento Kings, who are absolutely terrible. <laughs> but Malik Monk was doing pretty good um, shooting from the field, like 46% from the field this year, which is really good for a shooting guard. Um, you know, he's been he's been effective. But, you know, he did something. He went on a Valentine's date with Iggy Azalea. And after that date, because he went out on the date with, you know, her, um, at Anthony Davidson's wife, after that, his stats have taken a nosedive. Now, prior to Malik being spotted with Iggy Azalea, he was averaging 17 points a game. Now his scoring has went way down. Um, he's clearly suffering now, okay? And the Lakers are terrible anyway. All right? And um, now I just wanted to say, does this have anything to do with Iggy Azalea? No. Doesn't have anything to do with Isaiah. Last month, he was, you know, shooting 49% from the field, 49%, 49% from three. Okay. Um, this month, seven points per game, 30%, 17% from three. This is after going out with Isaiah. My question is this. Why is a guy like him even dating her in the first place? Knowing that she used to deal with Nick Young knowing that she has a kid by a, a, a rapper. Like, these NBA guys are so stupid. They continue to be around people where it's not going to go anywhere. All right? Yeah, his own shooting performance is his own shooting performance. Because, you know, Steph Curry, same thing. You know, Aisha Curry, all of this. You know, that happens sometimes. But, bro, you, you, don't, you don't like yourself enough to find somebody else. You're only 24 years old. You going out with you guys that's going to do what? Do you want to talk about it? I can tell you what it's going to do. Nothing. All right. But guys are idiots. Okay. Guys are dumb. They don't care. Anything for a fake butt and blonde hair. Or a fake butt in blonde weave, a fake butt in sandals. And it just goes to show you like, I mean, how, how focused can you guys be? When you look at guys like LeBron, and I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that LeBron doesn't deal with the thotties. He might. But bro, you're having a killer month. Why are you not doing the same things you've been doing in the first place? I, I just don't know. And Iggy Azalea, bro, like, you, you, and let me just kind of go back with that, okay? Let's go back to Iggy. Iggy's doing the Britney Renner thing. Iggy Azalea is at least 32, 31. This guy's 24. Britney Renner, PJ Washington situation going on. Like, these girls who could normally be dealing with the high end NBA players, they can't get them anymore. They all take bench warmers. They'll take role players. Like, it just goes to show you how, 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 how these guys fall off. Like, a guy like P.J. Washington with so much to offer, you're dealing with Brittany Renner. Why? Nobody will touch her. None of the top guys will touch her. Same thing with Cam Newton said. Like, yo, I wouldn't even touch you. Like, why would I do that to myself? Okay? Why? 
But these other guys who haven't had any, like, oh my God, I get to go out with 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 with, uh, with Iggy Azalea, bro, you can do better than that, right? In in, in the league, you, I mean, she already has a kid by somebody. Hello, she's already drama filled. Even if she isn't drama filled, like you can't do any better than that. Is there a reason why? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of athletes get, you know, I think with, you know, Aaron Rodgers, obviously he's just, you know, divorced his chick. But a lot of, I wanted to say this real quick. A lot of these guys who are dealing with these chicks, this is the truth. This is a true story is what I believe. A lot of these guys are stressed out. Like even, you know, and I just don't know if these athletes don't understand like, 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 like these, like ladies can't do anything for them for the most part. Like, I, I get it, Iggy Azalea is not broke. All right? But she's problematic, guy. She's problematic. Like, you would have to know that there is nothing that she can do for you. I mean, like, is that not true? <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to understand something here. What is it that she can do for you, go. Go. Like, seriously, can you not talk about this? What can she do for you, guy? I just don't know. But let me just, you know, also say, you know, is it so, guys, this. Let me just say this real quick in, in, in closing. Men. Young guys out there, whatever you've been doing, keep doing it, okay? And I'm not blaming her for his shooting slump. I don't think that's the case. But what I do feel is that whatever you've been doing, keep doing it. Make people add extreme value to your life if you're already in a good situation. You're playing with LeBron James. You got a chance to learn from one of the greatest players of all time. You have two of the best five players in the league right now with him and Anthony Davis and then Russell Westbrook of all time. You have a lot of time and, and all those guys are married. You have a lot of opportunity to learn from the best. Why are you guys not taking that opportunity to do so? Okay. How much thought it up must you do? How much? I need to know. How much starting it up must you do out there? Like, when is it enough? When is it starting it up enough? Okay. How, how many? How many? How many of these ladies you guys have to sleep with? That you, at, at a certain point you come to you come to the position that, damn, she can't do for me, guys. Like you know, like, like really. Really, I'm just better off just, you know, not even talking about her right now or anything like that. Like, at what point do you do that? You know? But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first camp at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. I'm out.